the stereotype is, and it has been as long as I've been vegan and probably has been for a lot longer than that, that vegans are weak, scrawny, you can't build muscle, and you're nutrient deficient and you're gonna die soon, basically. And it's just not the case. And we knew that getting all these strong people together to show what the body is capable of on a fully vegan diet would make it so people couldn't question it anymore. If you go to a bodybuilding show that has one vegan and they place well, you hear from a dozen people, well, he has great genetics, or something along that line, something like, well, he did really well in spite of his vegan diet, and we wanted to bring together a group of people that proved no. We're doing well because of our vegan diet. It's surreal, I never expected to be here. Competing is something I, nev I never would have thought I would have done, given I'm not a social butterfly and I don't like the attention on me. But like I said, it's not for me, it's for the animals, so it gives me a reason to compete. You're not doing this for yourself. You're doing this for the message, which for us is, is animal rights and animal welfare. However we can lead people to veganism by example, by showcasing what we do, whether it's bodybuilding, crossfit, powerlifting, mixed martial artists, uh, anything, fitness models, whatever it is, that's, that's a win for us and a win for the animals. There's, there's just this like common understanding that we're bonded together through the mission that we have instead of like, we're here to just show, you know, like lift as much weight and get the trophy or flex, you know, like, I mean, we're here for a purpose. I'm not representing just myself. I'm represent, representing a group and, you know, we stand for so much more than that. So you want to be a good representation of, of this team. More than anything, what I've been so amazed by is that Plant Built in just one year has become bigger than just this team. If you search the Plant Built hashtag on Instagram, there's like tens of thousands of pictures using it and you know people are so proud to be vegan and strong and athletic and it's just blown my mind how much people are taking the idea and running with it. As we move forward with our mission we are continuing to unite vegan strength athletes from around the globe. We now have athletes from Singapore, Great Britain, Australia, New Zealand, Germany and Canada joining forces with us to educate, compete with us, and spread awareness. As a nonprofit, there are currently no salaries given, and all administrative work is done by volunteers. The operating costs that are not covered by donation are paid for out of pocket. All athletes cover nearly 100% of their own costs and donate much of their time annually, not only by competing in Texas, but also by speaking and educating at local events and conferences, and by doing as much media outreach as possible. Our initial campaign goal is to raise funds for our 2017 operating budget and to help subsidize a portion of the travel costs for international athletes as the more we expand globally, the more people we can reach. To date, we have donated over $20,000 for animal sanctuaries and vegan outreach groups. As in previous years, once we reach our initial goal, a large portion of the proceeds will go to other vegan charities. Our mission is to represent for the vegan community and animals worldwide. With strength in numbers and vegan athletes from around the globe, we aim to make a long-standing impact as our plant-built family continues to grow. If you share our vision, help us unite by supporting our campaign. Getting to see where we all come from on why we're vegan, uh, sharing those great stories with each other, and sharing them with everybody out here all day long asking about why we're vegan, what we're doing this for. For animals who can't speak for themselves, that's what this is about, you know? See you